Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this is my next entry in my 20 from the Atari 2600 VCS series, where I look at what I feel were the top 20 games of that system. And this is game number 18. And uh, it was actually an, ar an arcade release back in 1979, but was not ported to the Atari 2600 until 1983. And this is Galaxian. And it's a terrific, terrific port. It's not exactly the same, but it it's still very uh, very challenging, very exciting. And there is the uh, cartridge. This was uh, created by Atari and Mark Ackerman and Glenn Parker and Tom Calderwood in 1983. Very, 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 very good port of Galaxian. There are a total of nine different variations of this game. And all that does for each variation, it's just start on the stage of that number. So if you select variation number nine, you will start on stage number nine. And this game, I'm just going to go out and say it is much tougher than Galaxian, the arcade game. One major reason why I say that is because uh, in uh, the arcade game, you could destroy a flagship and then the enemies will all stop for five seconds or stop attacking and that's not present in this game and uh, those purple ships get uh, those purple galaxians get faster uh, earlier on it seems they their flight pattern is is quicker they're more dangerous um, I didn't really play this back in the day, but once I got an emulator and start playing it, started playing it, I was really impressed. This is great. It's got great graphics, and uh, it's flickers or slow down or yeah, flickers more in uh, uh, emulation. But when you're playing it, it's not flickery or anything, and that's due to a uh, high frame rate. They had to shorten the play field to uh, allow that, but uh, it was really quite impressive. Definitely, uh, definitely a good choice for top 20 of uh, the Atari 2600. But uh, we're gonna start here. Like I said, this is harder than uh, uh, the arcade, as far as I can tell. So I, I didn't get as good a game as I had hoped. But. Um, once you pass stage nine, it doesn't go back to like uh, zero or one or anything. It, it it actually reads ten. In case you were wondering, and the scoring is the same as in the arcade. Uh, for a green enemy, it's thirty. If it's in flight, it's double sixty. Purple enemy is forty. Double in flight, it's eighty. Uh, red is is uh, fifty and in flight it's double, it's 100, and the flagships are 60, and they're 150 in flight. With an escort, they're 200, and with two escorts, they're 300, and if you shoot the two escorts first, then it's 800. Same, same exact scoring as in uh, the arcade version. You do have a rapid fire. You only shoot one shot at a time, but you can just hold it down and you'll continue to shoot. So if you got two enemies paired up real close in front of you, you can just whittle them down real quick, which is kind of nice. But yeah, even early on in the game, those uh, purple enemies are really, really tough. Those green enemies are very easy. Uh, don't be embarrassed and let them shoot you. <laughs> Just kind of stay ahead of them with your shots, and you should pick them off rather easily. But those those purple enemies, man, do they swoop. There are some uh, frying the game tricks, which I will get into later, that might, might actually uh, make some differences in the game. Uh, generally, they're not great tricks. Um, they kind of, they can kind of crash the game, too. But, uh, 
Yeah, if you want the good score, you have to be really proficient. Ah! Yeah, if you get into it, get caught in a corner, just, just those enemies just barely touching you by like a pixel, they'll make you uh, blow up. You get one extra life at uh, 7,000 points. I believe the uh, regular settings were that way on uh, the Galaxian arcade game as well. <laughs> he just barely missed me there. I played several times and I tried to get a really good game, but ah, oh, god damn it. That was clumsy. But it's really, really, really hard to do. And I am not horrible on the original Galaxian. Like I said, I think this is a this is a little harder than uh, the arcade Galaxian. And yeah, a big uh, a big reason I was able to do okay on the original arcade Galaxian was because of the uh, flagship trick. Destroying a flagship in flight would make the enemies pause or not attack you for uh, like five seconds or so. You could start picking a bunch of them off. But yeah, those uh, purple enemies in uh, the Atari 2600 Galaxian seem more dangerous than in the arcade. Although in the uh, Atari 2600 version, they don't... Oh, oh man, that was close to... Uh, they don't do these little fancy tricks when uh, when you whittle them down to like one or two or, or three like they did in the arcade, but... Oh yeah, don't let them pin you in the corners. Early on, it's not as important, damn it. But later on in the game, yeah, it's very, very important that you not let him pin you. Uh, as I gotta say, uh, yeah, you only get one extra life at uh, 7,000 in this game. You don't get uh, one at 14,000. Yeah, I don't recall playing this back in the day. I remember hearing that it came out, but uh, I didn't get a chance to play it on the Atari 2600. So uh, when Stella came out, uh, generally really good uh, Atari 2600 emulator, I uh, I, uh, check this out right away. When there's just one... When there's one enemy and, uh... The formation... Ah, goddammit. Moves, like, all the way to the left where it's up against the edge. And it starts going into flight formation. It is likely gonna go off-screen. And then just go back into formation right away. And that might give you an opportunity... To, uh... Be able to destroy it easier. But that was my game of uh, Galaxian, and out of probably about ten times I played, this was my best game. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, I, I'm too frustrated <laughs> to try to uh, get better than that. Those purple aliens really pissed me off. But uh, that is Galaxian, released in 83 for Atari 2600. And, uh, like I said, there are nine different uh, game settings. And they they just start you on the stage or the round of that number is all. So I'm starting on round nine. Very challenging already. Good God. But now let's look at uh, fry tricks, frying the game. You know, wiggling the on-off switch between. <laughs> you might get some odd. Uh, stuff going on. You might get super fast aliens to start off and the game might freeze up. Also, <laughs> I love the weird text at the top. Um, you might end up getting a weird score. Whoa! My score is really getting high already. <laughs> so 
So I'll play a little bit like that. And note that the round that I'm starting on says zero. Yeah, you'll end up, uh, you might end up getting a crazy score if you uh, fry the game just right. Yeah, yeah, I let myself get cornered. Do I already have over a hundred thousand points? <laughs> yeah, check that out. This is uh, later on in the game. Good gravy. <laughs> Yeah, you might be able to find some, uh, fry tricks that'll help you out a little bit. <laughs> that didn't say Galaxian. What the hell is that? <laughs> but that was, uh, Galaxian for the Atari 2600. Game number 18 in my, uh, 20 from the Atari 2600 VCS series. This is Crazy Clown Racing. Thanks for watching. Galaxian released in 83 for Atari 2600. Catch you later with another video. Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.